Holiness has just decreed a crusade against the infidels, guardians of the tomb of Christ. These are his words. Go, my sons, do battle and vanquish the pagans. It is God's will. Yes, my friends, it's God's will. To, to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, it's God's, God's will. will. To Jerusalem. To Jerusalem, God wills it. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, friend, you come how's it going? Us? I prefer to stay Watch as far as sacks. possible from that Go on, get moving. Besides, I have my work to finish up, not to mention the most important of my reasons. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Forward! March! In the, in the service, service of God, God forward, forward march. march! Not a single Western monarch took part in that first glorious call to the Crusades. All three, William II of England, Henry IV of Germany, and Philip I of France, had been excommunicated by the irascible Pope Urban II. Years have passed since the First Crusades set out. In the town, life goes on peacefully. People sleep without a stitch on, but surprisingly take their baths fully dressed. Rather skimpy baths at best. Let's go say hello to baby sister. Let her sleep, huh? Be good, my children, till tonight. This morning, there is a great commotion in the public square. Peter the Hermit has returned. Our strength and our faith carried the day, and so I humbly ask of God the Father, have we erased our sin? Time goes by, and one fine day... We must never forget the day we surrounded those savages and gave them a good wish. Oh, you're back. Oh, you see, old pal, we went at a full battle, 15,000 strong. After a few minor points were destroyed, ah! we succeeded in convincing our adversaries to see it our way. Finally, it was me that raised our flag over the fortress at Jerusalem. Now that you've become a free man, you'll be able to stay here and help us. Oh, man, what a cute little poultry vendor. Oh, she's cute, sure, but I'm afraid, so you're not exactly what I call her type. Look at yourself, a little chubby round the gills, wouldn't oh, you say? Listen. Oh, let me go, you brute! Oh, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. I'll be arrested for indecent exposure at the least. I'll catch the grip. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me. Come on, Lurch. You get me. your hands off that poor beast. All of an animal's strength lies in the shoulder and neck. Anything it wears in that area must not choke the beast. But what is the best thing? Well, maybe a stiff collar. Huh? Now, now, put on your thinking cap, my boy. The animal would hurt itself with a stiff collar. Stiff? No, no. Impossible. Stiff. What a crazy idea. <laughs> I don't see what's crazy about my idea. Seems to me it's better than yours up to now. Today is a holiday. Everyone's off work, so they can go to the tournament. And one of the adversaries is none other than... Gee, go on and give him a good licking. Rosé, Rosa. All right, Father. What is the name of this country? <laughs> ah, my son. I've got it. That's it. Huh? Take a look. I told you so. The solution is a stiff shoulder collar. This will certainly be one of the century's great finds. From now on, my name will be passed on to posterity. Do you realize my invention will pave the way for cargo, transport, trade? My invention means a better life. Everyone will benefit. Do you realize... What does all this mean? They've stolen my idea. Some people are truly unscrupulous. I certainly agree. 
Several decades have passed. Grandchildren have grown up. Yet another crusade has set out only to come back defeated. Cities have gained full freedom. There is a university open to everyone free of charge. Theology, canon law, dialectics, the arts and medicine are taught by masters such as Albert the Great of Germany, Thomas Aquinas from Italy, Abelard from Paris, and Roger Bacon the Englishman. Today one of Bert's grandchildren is receiving his diploma. Fire! Fire! It was God's will. Yea, at the will of God. And none shall dare oppose the will of God. And on this very spot, with the consent of all, we shall construct a great house for the people. A cathedral where all may come to pray, where none shall be refused refuge. Is that not a glorious thought? But that is not all. I have more news. One moment, we have here among us two great builders. Hooray! We must all take this opportunity to make a contribution. Thanks. The people enthusiastically set to work. Are you thirsty, man? Boy, am I. You certainly aren't wasting any time. Come oh, on, steady come on. on the winch! Further, further! My, my, they are enthusiastic, aren't they? Hey, what's that mess you're making? What's it good for? Nothing, that's what. They work with rare dedication. Well. That's not too bad, but it looks too new. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's a nut. Only a complete, utter idiot would damage that work of art. Now, it looks much more antique. Oh, I can't believe it. Noon break. Say hello to Daddy. Come on, say hello to your Daddy. Hello, Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Okay, we're going to start the hoist now. You guys ready up there? Yep. Let her roll. Watch out, Lurch! <laughs> the infidels are back in Jerusalem. They desecrate the Holy Land. Everyone join up for the new crusade. Let us not permit pagans to touch the tomb of Christ. We'll be back soon. Lurch, take care of my oldest son. All right. I'll show him what I think of heathens. <laughs> <laughs>